Today, we're gonna be creating our very own Discord bot. So we're gonna be using the language of Python. Make sure to install that. If you don't know how, check my uh, video on how to install Python. I'm gonna be using PyCharm for this project, but without further ado, let's get right into it. To get started with this tutorial, we're gonna to wanna to open up a web browser of any kind. I use Google Chrome. So here we're gonna just gonna write Discord Developer Portal. So Discord Developer Portal and oh Developer Portal, and we're just gonna press Enter, and we're gonna go to the website Discord Developer Portal. Now we want to go to Applications. I already have a couple applications made, but uh, you want to press New Applications, uh, New Application, and now you just want to name your application. So I'm gonna name this Discord underscore Bot underscore Programming done right okay so this is my bot and now i want to go to bot and i want to press add bot and i want to press yes do it and my bot has been made now i want to go over to oauth2 and press bot because that's what we're making a bot and now we want to give it some permissions so we want to enable what it can do i like to give it all of this whole row and i like to give it view channels this is good enough for me but for you, you might wanna add some more. Now, I don't recommend giving it administrator just because it can be a security hazard. So uh, I like to give it these permissions. Now, what I wanna do is I just wanna copy this link and I wanna head over to a new tab and I wanna paste this in. And now I just wanna press enter. Now I'm gonna figure out what server I wanna uh, connect this to. I'm gonna connect this to the programming done right server. If you wanna join the programming done right server, links will be down in the description. So I'm gonna press continue and I'm gonna say authorize. Now that that's done, you're good to go. So let's get into the actual coding part of this. But remember to keep this tab open because we're gonna need it just in a little bit. Okay, so now that we've gone and uh, enabled our bot, now we can open up a new file. I'm just using PyCharm and we wanna go over to the terminal. If you don't have a built-in terminal in your IDE or code editor, go to the command prompt if you're on a Windows and the terminal if you're on a Mac. Now here we just wanna write pip install discord.py and we wanna press enter and I'll meet you guys back when the installation is done. Okay, so once this installation is done, you should see as something called successfully installed. And once you see that, you're good to go. So you just wanna close or minimize this window and here you just want to write import discord, okay? And because that's what we're importing. And now we want to write from discord.ext, not exc, ext, import commands. Oh, so commands. Okay, now that we've done that, we've gotten the, we've imported all of discord's assets into our program. So now we actually have to authorize and get this program to actually run and work. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna make sure that all of Discord's assets are stored into a variable. I'm gonna name this variable bot because that's what we're creating. So bot equals, and now you wanna write command, commands dot bot. And then here you wanna write the command prefix. So command underscore prefix equals, and now you can put whatever command prefix you want. Now, what a command prefix basically is, if you're not familiar to Discord, is when you wanna call your bot, for example, if I wanna call my bot, then I'm gonna put some prefix before it, right? Just like before I type my message. The reason you wanna add this is because we, let's say we're not talking to the bot and we're just talking to a friend, we don't want the bot to appear. So that's why um, when we're using commands, we wanna put a command prefix. This is my command prefix, but it can be any character. It can be a question mark. It can be an exclamation point. I like this carrot though. It can even be a dot. I like the carrot because it's most often never used. So that's why I like it. Now, after this, we're going to make an event, which is on ready. So when the bot is ready, we're going to execute some code. So at bot dot event, do not add parentheses. Do not, even though you'll be prompted to add parentheses, do not. And we want to write async, okay, because this is an asynchronous function, which basically means that these are asynchronous. And then um, async def on underscore ready, okay? And now we want to uh, 
uh, we just want to uh, put, what is it, a colon and press enter. So all we have to do for this is we can just print what is ready. Now you can do some more complex code for this, but it's really not necessary. It's not that big of a deal because you're only going to see this, nobody else is, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we want to have another event, and this is on message, okay? And uh, when I say, and we were going to follow the same format, except this is going to be on message. So when, a, when somebody types a message into the uh, Discord server or in any Discord chat or even in a uh, one-on-one -on -one to the bot, then this function will be executed. And we want to get what the message is. Like we want to figure out the value. So it will be stored in this variable called message. And the way we can get it is we, uh, the way we can get the message is values. We just write message.content. Except I like to lowercase all of message by putting it in a variable called msg. So msg equals message.content.lower, which means everything's in lowercase. And now it's easier to access msg. Okay, now we can write if msg dot starts with, okay, and then, um, and then we could just put the symbol, the caret again, because this is a message, this isn't a command and they're different. We'll be doing the command in a little bit. So now we can put, uh, now we can uh, actually figure out what the message is and we can act accordingly. So uh, the way we can do this is we can just write, um, for example, oops, sorry, we can write if um, MSG, uh, or sorry, if, hello in MSG, which basically means if hello is in MSG, you know, the variable message. So, or MSG actually, but yeah, if hello is anywhere. So if I say, hello bot, hello bot, how are you doing? It will work. So that's something pretty cool. And now we can put some other ways or which me, basically means, or if another condition is true, hey, in MSG, or you could even say, hi, in MSG or yellow in MSG. And this can go on and on because there's so many ways to say hello. And now we can just write, we can send them a message. And the way we do that is we write await channel.message.send. And then here in the channel.message.send, uh, we just want to write hello. Oh, sorry, it's not channel.message.send. It's message.channel.send, sorry about that, and not heli, hello, and that's all we have to do. And now we can do this for a couple more things. We could say if, or sorry, elif, which basically means if this isn't true, but this is, then if rules in MSG, so if they say, what are the rules, rules what are, anything, then the, the code inside this will execute. And the way we can write this is await, or sorry, I don't know why this was, I made a line, await message.channel.send, and now we want to send them the rules. So this is the, so I'm just going to copy and paste the rules for, um, I'm just going to copy and paste the rules for uh, the programming done right server, which you guys are going to have to follow if you join the server. Okay, and you can keep adding this. You can write elif joke. You know, you can, you can add as many in MSG. You can add as many as you want. And if you want to know how to make the logic inside some of these, like a joke or, a, or something generating, then check out um, almost any of my Python tutorials and you'll get basically the code inside of that. And you can just, and instead of printing stuff or speaking stuff, you just have to await message.channel.send stuff. So just like that, you could literally do anything with uh, any of my previous Python tutorials and just tinker them. If there's a specific thing you'd like covered, then I will, uh, I can cover it if you just put that down in the comments. So now we have to, now we can make a couple of commands. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make one command. So command and uh, bot.command. And this is, and this time we're going to put parentheses. And this is my favorite command by far. And this is the clear command. So uh, the way we do this is async def. And now if they write clear, then what we're going to do is we're going to execute this code. Okay. And the code is going to be, uh, and actually in the thing we want to write CTX 
which is um, oh, something we need for commands. And we're gonna write limit equals 10, okay? Or sorry, amount equals 10. Okay, so amount is basically the default value because when you clear stuff, it basically clears the previous messages. So if I don't specify a value, the default will be 10. So if I write 12, then it'll clear 12. Okay, and now all we have to do is we can write um, await uh, channel, um, uh, ctx.channel.purge, uh, channel.purge. And now we can write uh, limit equals amount. And just like that, you have a functioning, you have a functioning command on your hands. So now we just have to run this. And the way we can run this is we just write bot.run. And now we need the uh, token for the bot. And how do we get the token, you ask? Well, I told you to, I told you to keep uh, the Discord developer portal uh, application open. And the reason I did that is because we're going to go over to bot. We're going to copy this token. And we're going to head over to uh, my bot, main.py. And we're going to go right here, put quotes, and we're going to paste our token. And just like this, your bot should run. And let's wait for it. And it should say, uh, it should print, the bot is ready. So um, I'll show you, I'll come back when the bot is ready. So it's right here. Uh, it says bot is ready. And now if you try and test it and you like, if you put the uh, carrot sign or whatever sign you picked, then um, it will work. So you have yourself a fully functioning bot on your hands. The only problem is that it only runs when uh, you run it right now. So I can solve that if you guys would like me to. And if you guys leave 15 likes on this video and five co separate comments from like individual users, then I'll post that video early. Else I'll just post it on, um, else I'll just post it uh, on Friday next time. But if, you, if we can get to the goal, then I'll post it early because I know a lot of you guys might want this uh, done. So share it with your friends, like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of videos to share with you guys. So that's it for today. Uh, if you guys wanna know more and if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and do not hesitate to join our Discord server. That's it for today. Bye, signing out, programming done.